hello friends kishan is here again and in this in this video tutorial i am going to refactor code which i had created in my previous video tutorial so this project is spring uop before and after advice using annotations i had created in my previous video tutorial so let me explain you this project so this is the client program here i have created application context object and application context has a method is called get bin so i'm passing the bin id and service class and getting this bin service class bin and making a call to the service layer and we are calling this service layer method is called update account balance here this method has a two arguments account as well as amount and here's i haven't i've written simply one of the system dot out dot print run and just i'm printing one statement in real scenario you may have some complex business logic and my agenda is to when i call this service layer method then i would like to uh, print some logger message into the log file so in real scenario here you can may use log 4j or slf 4j or some other logger framework to log this statement into the files here i have defined before and after advice so when i run this application then before and after advice is getting called now here in this class in this aspect class we have defined two advices and here we have defined this point cut right so here if you want to narrow down this point cut uh, using some point cut designators so there are some point cut designators like arc execution execution we have already seen target within so here basically i am going to look into the ARGS arcs this basically limits the join point matches to the execution of method whose arguments are instances of given types so here while defining this point cut you can specify m percent m percent means and ARGS and here you can say first argument would be account and comma and dot dot and second argument first argument would be account type and after that any number of argument may happen in that case here this advice has to change here we need to pass the first argument as account and account now basically first of all is a spring op will, will match this point cut expressions and second condition also we have appended with and conditions so both conditions should satisfy then this before advice will run so if i run this application then before advice is running because here point as per the point x point cut expression this expression our service letter service layer method is matching right first account in this service layer method is account and second argument may happen anything so you may write i mean point cut expression in this way as well so in this tutorial i wanted to show you, show you how to use Arc. here in, instead of m percent m percent you may use and of data as well so if after doing this modification if i run this application then this may run this is working so you may use this designator and or m percent m percent uh, while writing the point cut expression so this is the one of the thing i wanted to teach you in this video tutorial next thing what i wanted to teach you in this project we had created in earlier video 
so this project is very much similar what we have seen in this project uh, let me show you here this is our client program and from client program we are making call to the service layer method and service layer method we have a update account balance and when we run this service layer method at the time we would like to call this advices so this is a aspect class we have we have defined to advices and point, uh, to access point cut we have defined this dummy meter and th using this dummy meter we are accessing this point cut over here but uh, this sometimes it's good if your, your, your project size is small then it's good to define point cut like this but in uh, few projects i have seen uh, people define point cut in little different ways and i found that way is damn good so let me show you how differently uh, or uh, or different manageable way how we can define point cut so rather specifying point cut over here uh, we may create a class separate class to define a uh, point cut suppose if you have a architectural i mean application then for different layer you can define a, a point cut so let me call this package name com dot info dot uop and here we can say point cut definition point cut definition is the class name and here in this class we can define three methods for different layers so public void and first wave layer and similarly we can define two more method for service as well as data access layer so i would say service layer and third maybe a data access layer or doll layer and every method we can and this class must be annotated as at the rate aspect and each method we are going to annotate as point cut and here within this we can use one of the designator is called point cut designator is called within so here i am going to write within and these things i'm going to copy before every method so for this web layer we can say com dot info tape dot web dot dot star something like that we can define point cut now for service layer we have a service this layer we haven't defined in applications but if you have a i mean web layer then we can define like this but service layer we have already here right so service layer we can define like this dot dot star something like that and similarly for data access layer we can define like com dot info take dot 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 star something so for three different layers we have defined three point cut but in in this project we have only one layer that is service layer now if i expand this class and let's copy this service layer copy qualified name and go to the this aspect class and here i'm going to delete this dummy method which we had written for the point cut and here 
instead of this dummy method we can specify like this so this is the one of the best approach I have ever seen to define point cut and if I run the application after doing this modification if I run the application then that should run successfully look at it is running successfully so here advantage is that you define a separate class and you may define multiple methods for every layer and you you specify the uh, sub package in, instead of the entire package so here i have defined com dot info take dot service so but my package name is com dot info take dot service dot impf so after service i have given two dot means that can take any number of sub directory so this way we can define point cut and one of the best approach i ever found so that's all i wanted to teach you in this video tutorial guys so if you like my video tutorial then please subscribe so that you will get update about my latest video upload on the youtube channel and see you in next video tutorial thank you so so much for watching my video